It's Pet Adoption Tuesday yet again. Yes, it is. And Brianna is joining us from the Humane Society of West Michigan. <laughs> uh, good morning, Brianna. We are talking not about a dog or a cat today, but a cute little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Um, so today I'd love to tell you all about cranberry. Um, so just like a, your Thanksgiving essential that your holidays won't be complete without, Cranberry the Bun is definitely looking for a loving home. Um, just like also the popular Thanksgiving condiment, cranberry is sweet and saucy and will bring joy to any family gathering. She's a gentle, social rabbit, content to hang out and like do her own thing, but also interested in hopping about, exploring, and greeting her people with friendly head bumps. As you can see, she loves kale and treats. Definitely the way to her heart. <laughs> Um, this bun is neat, tidy, and completely litter trained, um, so she'd definitely make a wonderful free roaming rabbit. Um, and this big bunny is just full of heart, really adorable, and hoping to find her forever home in time for the holidays. Brianne, is she the only rabbit that you have at the Humane Society of West Michigan, or do you have other bunnies? Yeah, so we actually have lots of other bunnies. We also have other small animals like guinea pigs, rats, mice. Um, a lot of people don't think about small animals when they think of a rescue pet, but we definitely have lots of small, uh, adorable rescue pets looking for loving homes. Hmm. So what should a family keep in mind if they want to adopt a rabbit? Are there any special things that they need to know? Yeah, so rabbits um, and many small animals are kind of like prey creatures, you know, so they have a tendency to be a bit more scared or um, frightened by sounds. Um, so just making sure that they have a nice quiet environment to hang out in. Um, and they're also, they're smaller pets, they take up less room. So maybe you are in a smaller apartment or a dorm and you're looking for a pet that's going to fit in the space that you have. Small animals are a great option. They also make wonderful starter pets, especially rats and guinea pigs, because they're so friendly um, for little kids, um, maybe looking to get their first pet. So that could be a wonderful idea for adoption this holiday season. Um, yeah, they're really wonderful pets with a lot of love to give. They all have really big personalities, especially this one. She's so much fun. Um, <laughs> so definitely um, hoping they all find loving homes this year. Brianne, uh, tell us where can people come if they'd like to meet Cranberry? Yes, so Cranberry is actually a foster. So just like our foster foster system, uh, you can go to our website, hswestmi.org slash small animals, um, and you can check her out there. Um, if you do like her, you can fill out an application right online, um, and then we'll set up a Zoom call with the foster family. It's a really easy process, so she gets to live in the comfort of the home, and you get to take home a new pet. Oh, my cat, Keita, oh. is here to take <laughs> Thank you, Brianne. We appreciate your time. It's 8.52. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Thank